Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here for episode 55 of my Rotary Craft tutorial series. So in this episode we're going to take a look at the Terraformer. The Terraformer is crafted using two base panels, three impellers, a circuit board, two HSLA steel ingots, and a screen that gets you the Terraformer. Now what you do with the Terraformer is you can change the biome of a piece of terrain from one biome to another biome, which is pretty darn cool. Um, now to do that you're going to need a way of selecting what tiles you want to change and there are two ways I know of to do that. One is using uh, Buildcraft landmarks, but if you don't have Buildcraft you'll be using the tile selector. So tile selector is crafted with four steel ingots, an ender pearl, a redstone, and a lapis lazuli. It's not how you pronounce that, but whatever. It gives you the tile selector. So. So let's come over here. We've got an area of uh, taiga biome, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just place down my terraformer. Now, uh, if you want to use landmarks, buildcraft landmarks, the way you do this is by placing them down to form the square, which is, if you use landmarks, you're pretty familiar with this. And right click on one, and it makes that uh, box. Then just plop the ta terraformer down next to one of these landmarks. There we go. I'm not sure why they weren't popping off, but they're supposed to pop off. And then the, now that has loaded the uh, the area. Okay. Otherwise, you use this tile selector thing. Now the, the terraformer can take in power from any side, so we're just going to pop a dino there, pop a coil there, and pop a lever here. And then if I open its GUI, we can see that, that the t for the taiga for the area I've selected, there is currently two options. Okay the ice plains and the forest. Now the reason for this is because the terraformer cannot tr uh, transform a biome into a radically different biome. So you can't go straight from a taiga to a desert. You have to step it through. So I can either make this taiga biome colder by using snow and turn it into an ice plains, or I can make it warmer using saplings and turn it into a forest. So I have clicked on forest, I'm going to load saplings. Uh, for my inventory, I, I, you don't need to use both types. You just either of these two items will work, and you just chuck them in. If we go into info, we can see that here it tells us that um, uh, some of the stuff about it. You can give it a diamond, and it will actually mimic a uh, world generation of target biome, which is pretty darn cool. Otherwise, it will just change the biome. Now, you can select tiles to convert using the tile selection tool. And the only tiles that are the same biome as the one the machine is in can be converted. Okay, so that's important. And here it will cycle through and show you all of the uh, recipes. Some of these require water, okay, in addition to other items. Yeah. And uh, it tells you the power requirement. I'm pretty sure this is the power requirement per block. I'm not really sure. Now, the actual power requirement of the terraformer is only 1024 watts. So you could technically power this using a DC electric engine. It would just take a ridiculously long amount of time to do it. But you could set it there and then eventually over a long period of time it would actually work. We don't, we don't have time for that. So I'm going to give it a ridiculous amount of power. Especially speed, since speed is where this actual speed comes from. And we're going to turn it on. Now you'll notice that it isn't currently doing anything. And that's because you have to give the terraformer a redstone signal. And now you can see that it is eating saplings. And it is transforming the area that we had selected with the Buildcraft uh, landmarks from taiga into forest. There, see? There's a forest tile here. There's a forest tile right here. Honestly, I'm surprised it's not going faster. Forest. Okay. So it is still using up oak saplings. The operating time on this is 2.1 seconds. 
not quite fast enough. We're gonna speed it up again. Uh, with one million, we're gonna give it a megawatt, and it's gonna take it down to point ten. So we now see that this hair, this area here, has been turned from taiga into forest. Okay, so this area is now a forest. Flip that up, and we now have more options. So we could obviously turn it back into taiga, but what's what's the point of that? We could turn it into jungle by using a. Uh, that looks like a fern, or actually oak saplings, plus water, okay? Or we can turn it into a plains by using grass. And we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, to get grass, there, I don't think there's any way to craft grass. You have to just take a shears and wander around. Yeah. Take a shears, wander around the plains until you, uh, find, you find some grass and use the shears to grab the grass. Oops. But, we're gonna grab a diamond, and we're gonna show what happens when we use the diamond. I already had one. <laughs> so we're gonna throw a diamond in there, I'm going to click on planes, and we're gonna throw grass in there, and we are going to flip this. Is it going? I don't think it's going. I think we have to like reselect the area. So I'm not really sure how to use this tile selector. Okay, let's just pick the tire former up. And we're going to place our landmarks back down. Connect them. Terraform our back. That back. Chuck some grass in there. Chuck a diamond in. Planes. Wow. I see because of the diamond, it mimics the world generation. It's actually spawned a bunch of grass here. So we can now show... Because somebody asked in a comment how you get grass to use the terraformer, you use shears. See, even though I'm in creative, it'll still uh, give me the grass when I whack it with the shears. So yeah, if you didn't know how to get grass for the terraformer, that's how you do it. So now we're in a plains biome. As you can see from the bit on the left there, we're in plains. And um, now we have a, a, a much larger selection. So from plains, we can go into a forest if we use water and saps, saplings, I call them saps. Swampland by using a lot of water and mushrooms or sapling. Extreme hills by using a sapling. Ice plains by using snow, or a sapling apparently, or a desert by using cactus, sand, or sandstone. I'm actually quite interested in doing extreme hills. So let's check it out and see what happens. So we're going to place our landmarks back down. Again, I'm not sure how to use the tile selector, it doesn't... And, uh, terraformer. Put our... I can put this lever here. Should be able to... No, we'll just back it there. Diamond. Extreme hills requires saplings. I think I need some more saplings to get the entire thing to change. Alright, now we're gonna flip it on. Oh, there's actually a piece of forest in here. Did I click on the extreme hills? Ah, oh, there we go. We've currently got an extreme hills biome here. It didn't actually change the layout of the terrain, so that's not a thing. It's, it didn't act, it didn't like cause massive things to pop up, so you can't you can't create like mountains and stuff using this, which would be pretty awesome. You can't do that, but you can change the biome, and there there are pretty good reasons to change the biome because, as we know, there are quite a few um, machines in Rotary Craft that require various ambient temperatures. 
And so if you are just in a snow biome, if you are just in a freaking uh, taiga or ice plains, and as far as I can see, you won't be able to use like a fermenter to produce ethanol because the temperature is too low for the yeast to be made. But you can back to plains. You can use the terraformer to change a small area of your biome. Only a, you can just go down to only a couple of blocks and change it into a biome that has a, a different ambient temperature and then use your machines. Or like down here I was growing some crops and if you would want to go grow crops uh, it'd be easier in a warmer temperature because then the water that you place in the ground won't uh, freeze instantly. So change it into a different biome. So this is the, the temperature former is pretty darn cool, um, especially with its with the diamond uh, stuff being able to do stuff like uh, generate um, cactus it cacti if you need some cactus. So let's go ahead and place down our landmarks. We're gonna turn this into a desert just to show you. So the first thing we have to do is turn it back into a plains, and I'm gonna need some more grass. So we're back into a plains, as you can see. Now we will place the landmarks back down. That was because there was a redstone signal on there. Right click that, drop our terraformer back down, lever, and now we want to turn this into a desert, and we're going to do that with some sand, because that seems like the easiest way to do it. Throw some sand in there and throw a diamond in. I'm gonna like, I don't know if I need to do this, but I'm gonna clear out this grass. Okay. And now that we've got that, we're gonna click on desert, sand, diamond. Let's put some more sand in there. It might, uh, it might need more sand. And we will turn it on. It's not working. Let's do that again. Landmarks. Oh, I forgot to do that, didn't I? Landmark. No, I didn't think I didn't think I did. Landmark. Oh, wait a second. No, this is planes. Terraform. It's that. Desert. Sand. Diamond. Turn it on. Come on. Turn it into a desert. It's not working. Do I need to have sand and sandstone? Do I need to also have cactus? Yes, I do. So you have to have all of them. Okay, that's an important distinction. There we go. Now we're in a desert. So now that we're in the desert, the ambient temperature is higher than it usually is. So yeah, you do need to have all of the items that it asks for in here. Now that we're in a desert, you can see we can't go back to plains without using water. So this is a terraformer. This is how it works. It's pretty really. It's pretty cool. I, I think it's really awesome. Um, you do need to have all the resources it asks for. So you can't use the terraformer. That's why I think you cannot use the terraformer to generate yourself some cactus, because it used cactus. It didn't spawn any on the ground. But yeah, so that's the terraformer. It's pretty darn cool. Um, hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, stay tuned for future episodes. Let me know what you want to see next. We're pretty much done with the Rotary Craft. I'm tempted to call the Rotary Craft series pretty much because there's there's very little left. Uh, there'd be little left to talk about. And you need to have some stuff to examine. But if you want to hear about something, let me know. Um, Anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Terraformer, very useful machine. So, uh, I'm Sutton H, and I'm signing out.